Good morning, everybody. This is Donald Blondahl, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards and collectibles. Coming to you live from Arlington, Washington with our 1990 Leaf Set Review. Plus, family mail call from Boom Slang and the Bipster Box. Three more packs. Big raise ball cards and auctions first in the live chat. Good morning slash afternoon, everyone. Thanks for popping in here, Big Ray. Hope everyone is having a great short work week. That's right, Tuesday. It's like the start of the work week. Well, no, actually, it's... The second day of your work week and the second day of my work week this week. <laughs> Complete in the boxes in the house at 10 o'clock. Big raise, ball cards and auctions in with free entry number three. Free entry number three. Big raise, ball cards and auctions. Hi, complete in the box with number four for Big Ray. Complete in the box. Chat in the chat somewhere. At 10.02, that will be the final of the free entries. Complete in the box has his second free entry. Hi, Big Ray. So we've got Big Ray's ball cards and auctions has maxed out with his five free entries. Uh, the Leaf set lives. Yes, it does. This is the 1990 complete set in, my, in a binder. Got here on time for once. There you go, Big Ray. All cards and auctions, you did. All right, Robert Hain is in the house. Robert Hain is in the house. He's got a free entry today, along with two for complete in the box. When we hit 10.02, the first and, and or last chat at 10.02, Big Ray's sniped it in at the end, but he's already maxed out. So we are good to go. Going, going to PT. Physical therapy? Is that what that is there? Cardinals fan 1990 snuck in. He, he got his two free entries with a $2 super chat for Cardinals fan. So we've got a big raise with five, complete in the box with two, Robert Hain with two, and Cardinals fan with two. So let me get the free entries into the Wheel of Names. Let me get the free entries into the Wheel of Names. Let's see. I don't think... It's a, actually, I think this is the first entries for Big Ray this month. This is the first entries for Big Ray. Kevin's Models and Moors in the house. How you doing there, Kevin? Thanks for popping into the stream. I know you have been super, super busy lately. Glad to, <clears throat> glad to see you make an appearance today. Appreciate you there, brother. Um, <clears throat> let me get Big Ray's ball cards, his five entries. He was the only one with five entries today. So let me get Big Ray in here for one, two, three, four. And five. We go back into the chat here, and then let's see, Big Ray. We got Robert. Robert in here. Bibster finally made it in here. There he is. There's the Bibster. Long time no rockets, red glare. <laughs> oh, let me get Cardinals fan in here real quick. Cardinals fan and. Robert um, Hain. <clears throat> Let's see, get Robert Hain in here. Okay. And cards. All right. St. Louis Cardinals fan or Cardinals fan. It's his two entry. Right. And then I got one more person to get in here really quick. One more person to get in here really quick. And who was that again that came in? 
Complete in the box. There we go. Complete in the box. Snuck in with Drew in, uh, two entries during the first two minutes of the live stream. So complete in the box. Save this really quick here. There are 90 entries into the June Wheel of Names. We've got 10.05. We've got a couple minutes of chit chat that we can do here. But I will tell you what our content is for today. Of course, you can see in the title, 1990 Leaf Set Review Family. And then we followed by a family mail call. Let me see if I can pull this out here real quick. This was the mystery box that Boom Slang, I'll, I'll go over it in a second here. But we're going to open up this box here from Boom Slang, if you can see me behind it. I do have to take care of one little order of business here really quick. Um, I forgot to cover up uh, Boom Slang's address here. We'll leave his... Uh, sorry, I'm back here. I'm covering up Boom Slang's address here because I don't need to share that with the whole world. He might have some people show up at his house. You never know. Everybody that knows Boom Slang probably knows what I'm talking about. He's got a humongous room of cards, that's for sure, at his house. I kind of thought I had a lot of a lot of cards, but Boom Slang has a ton, that's for sure. Just going to cover up one other little thing here. So yeah, this we are going to share this box from Boom Slang. Let's see. Uh, there you go. You can see the Boom Slang right there, and then you can of course see my address. Uh, oh, I don't even know if I can get it in here. Can I get it in there? There we go. You can see my address. I don't mind showing that address. That's my mailing address, my business address. I don't mind advertising that per se. But they, we are going to open up this after we go through the set preview. Just so you do know, I kind of have an idea what Boomslang sent. But it, we, we, we had feared it was lost. It did have tracking on it, but he probably forgot what the tracking was. It was probably on his little postal receipt when he took it to the post office. But, boom. Go 1990. We will get into 1990 in a minute. And then after that, of course, we will do, as always, the Bipster Box. Three more packs. We've got nine people watching. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. Don't forget to give me my thumbs up, please, everybody. Appreciate all that very much. I like Peach Cobbler. Did I max out yet? Uh, Bibster, you were, la you were late. Bibster, you were late this morning. So you didn't get your free entries. So you would have maxed out if you got here on time. But you were late. Bibster, your first chat came in at... Uh, you were here earlier this morning, but the early bird, the early early birds do not count. It has to be when I go live, and I think you know that. And Bipster, your first live chat was uh, definitely after Cardinals fan 1990, which he chimed in with his super chat at 10:02. And Bipster, you first chimed in at 10:03. So you did have enough chats to get a f get five, but you didn't max out because you you weren't Maximus today. You were Latimus. You were Latimus. Bipster was Latimus. That's right. Bipster denied. I know. You fell asleep at the wheel today, Bipster. You must have been out taking care of your plants. And if I have to run out later, I forgot to refill my my water bucket here. So I might have to, if I finish the water bucket, I might have to run out and get some more. 
Don't be sad, Bipster. I'm sure you'll have a chance to get more entries later. Burning leaves, matching the, matching the mail, watering your garden, recording another baby Bipster, behind the mother-in-law's tongue. <laughs> oh, Robert Haynes up to his antics this morning, that's for sure. All right, but we do have 1010, so it is now time to start going through the review process for this 1990 Leaf Binder. Dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. So there we go. You know what? I'm going to see if I turn the light off if we can get a little bit better picture of the cards. Sometimes if it's too bright, yeah, I think that takes takes off some of the glare a little bit when we have so much oops, so much whiteness in here. So this is card number one. Card number one is the way they did it, the leaf set. I think they did that so when they, when you put it in a binder, you know which card number one is. And I'll show the backs in just a second here. But we'll just go through. I'm not going to read all the teams. Most of you probably know what team your players were on back in 1990. <coughs> For those that followed baseball way back then. So let's get into our set. You late. The Bipster of all things good and godly. Let me do a refresh here so I know where I left off in the chat. So I know to look up there every once in a while. But we've got as card number two, let me just make sure, yep. That is considered card number one. They don't number it, but it is the lead for the set. And this is what the backs of these cards look like in this set. Okay. So Bipster, what are the good cards we can find in this set? I believe if I remember right, it's a, is it a Sammy Sosa rookie in here? I think a Sammy Sosa rookie and a few other and probably a, a good handful of Hall of Famers. I am almost positive. Okay, so we got Mike Kenman, uh, Steve Bedrosian, Mike Scott, uh, Alan Anderson, Rick Sutcliffe. I'll do some of the teams so you'll know. Rick Sutcliffe with the Cubs, uh, Greg Olson with the Cardinals, or no, with the Orioles. Sorry about that. That's the Orioles symbol. Uh, Kevin Elster with the Mets, and Pete O'Brien with my Seattle Mariners. All right, then we got Hall of Famer Carlton Fisk, Joe McGrain, Roger Clemens, star player, Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer, Tom Gordon, D. Gordon's dad, Todd Bezinger, he is a one of the uh, guest announcers on the Seattle Mariners sometimes, Hubie Brooks, Roberto Kelly, and Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. All right, next page here, we got Mike Boddicker, Roger McDowell with the Phillies, Nolan Ryan, Hall of Famer with the Texas Rangers, John Farrell, Bruce Hurst, Wally Joyner, Greg Maddox with the Cubs, Hall of Famer, Chris Bazio, and John Cerruti. Maybe if I point my finger, you can see it better. I'll do it that way. Um, let's see, I think I can scoot it up just a hair more without cutting off too much of the top of the cards. Here, I'm going to go right there and right there. I think I got it pretty well centered now. So we got Tim Burke with the Expos, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Famer, Glenn Davis, Jim Abbott, Mike Lavalier. Andre Thomas, Lou Whitaker, Alvin Davis with the Seattle Mariners, and Melito Perez. All right? Let me kind of keep a peek in the chat here. I didn't know I could do this before. I can do that. Awesome. I didn't know if on my recording computer here I could refresh the chat, but I can. It just didn't show up, and I couldn't figure out how to do it before. 1990 was way back. Come on, Donald. 1950 is way back. The 90s are yesterday, or maybe the day before. But, Robert, I don't have a 1950 set. 
if you want to send me one, I will gladly preview it on the channel, that's for sure. But I don't have the 1950s back in your era. <laughs> of course, I'm from the 50s also. I was born in 1958. Now you know how old I am. <laughs> but I'm nowhere near as old as Robert Hone. Or Hain, sorry, Robert Hain. <laughs> Craig Biggio, Hall of Famer, Rick Aguilera, Pete Harnish, David Cohn, Scott Gereltz, Jay Howell, Eric King, uh, Pedro Guerrero, all right, and Mike Balecki. <laughs> Two can play at that game. They're Robert Hain. Bob Boone, uh, Kevin Brown, Jerry Brown, Mike Siosa, Chuck Carey, Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer, Von Hayes with the Phillies, Tony Fernandez, and Dennis Martinez. I have, a, I have an error card that shows Dennis Martinez on it, but it says it's an Edgar Martinez card. So I have it in my Edgar Martinez collection, but it is definitely an error card because it, it, it shows... Dennis Martinez on the front of the card, but the card is labeled, not, not this set, but, uh, and it says it's Edgar Martinez. And I looked at that when I saw that, I'm like, that's not Edgar Martinez. That's Dennis Martinez. Somebody didn't do a good job in the editing. <laughs> but it's nice to have that, that's for sure. Will you send it back? Well, no, if it, if, if it gets sent to me, it's probably a gift. It's probably a gift, but um, that would probably be a little pricey, and I wouldn't want to put... You definitely have to have insurance on that there, Robert. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. You probably do have a 1950 set, because you were probably collecting it when you were, when you were a kid. <laughs> Tom Candiotti, Andy Baines, Rob Dibble, Chuck Krim, John Schmoltz, Hall of Famer, for the Atlanta Braves, Mike Heath, Kevin Gross, Mark McGuire, star player, and Burt Blylevin. I think Blylevin's Hall of Famer, right? Yeah, we did. We did Blylevin already for our Hall of Famer, but with the California Angels Hall of Famer. All right, there's our famous fan favorite ball player, Base on Balls Walk, Mickey Tettleton, Sid Fernandez, Terry Kennedy. Fernando Valenzuela, fan favorite and star player Don Mattingly, Paul O'Neill, Robin Yount, Hall of Famer, and Brett Saberhagen. Next we got up to bat is Gino Petrelli, Petrelli, Brooke Jacoby, Roberto Alomar, Devin White, Jose Lind, Pat Combs, Dave Steve, Tim Wallace, and Dave Stewart. Yep, for the tobacco, of course. Um, Eric Anthony, Randy Bush. There's our uh, checklist card. I believe that's the first checklist card. Yep, cards number 1 through 88. Okay. All right. Then we've got Jamie Navarro, Tommy Gregg, Frank Tanana, Omar Vasquez with the Seattle Mariners, Ivan Calderon, and Vince Coleman. Uh, Donald, old as dirt, and Robert, old as creation. Man, do I feel young. Old as from radio, laugh out loud. <laughs> Bibster, be nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, there we go. Barry Bonds with the Pirates. I already turned the page. Uh, Randy Milligan, Frank Viola, Matt Williams, Alfredo Griffin, Steve Sachs, Gary Gaeta, Ryan Sandberg. He's trying to fly out of the, the binder here. Hall of Famer. And Danny Tartable. Okay. Next page, Rafael Palmero. Jesse Orozco, 
Gary Templeton, Frank DePino, where's Frank's card corners? He's probably right up his alley. Frank DePino definitely is like a, uh, a Italiano name for sure. Um, Tony Pena, Dickie Thon, Kelly Gruber, Marquis Grissom, and fan favorite star player, Jose Canseco. Next page, Mike Blowers. Mike Blowers, he is one of the announcers for the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Tom Browning, Greg Vaughn, Adabi McDowell, Gary Ward, Jay Buhner with the Seattle Mariners, Eric Show with the Padres, uh, Brian Harvey, and Andy Van Slyke. Next page, Jeff Ballard. Barry Loins, Kevin Mitchell, Mike Gallego, uh, Dave Smith, Kirby Puckett, Jerome Walton, Bo Jackson, and Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. All right. Is that a Bo Jackson rookie card? No. That is his fourth year card. That's right. He was in the uh, latter part of the 80s, right? Scott Bankhead with the Seattle Mariners, Ozzy Guillen, Jose Aquendo, John Dobson, Charlie Hayes, Fred McGriff, Chet Lemon, Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. All right, and then Rafael Ramirez. Next page here, Shane Mack. Oh, wow, is that a... No, okay. I thought maybe Ozzy Guillen was a, a rookie card, but it's not. He's, he was with Chicago A. A, 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 Las Vegas. Major League totals are way too high for that one. All right, so Shane Mack, Mark Grace. You definitely have to have some grace. Phil Bradley, Dwight Gooden. Harold Reynolds with the Seattle Murders, Scott Fletcher, um, Ozzy Smith, Mike Greenwell, and Pete Smith. All right. Mark Kubik, Kubiksa, Chris Sable, fan favorite with glasses and all. He's got his big specs on. Ramon Martinez, Tim Leary, Randy Myers, uh, Jody Reed, Bruce Ruffin, Jeff Russell, and Doug Jones. Okay. Hall of Famer, Tony Gwynn, Mark Langston, Mitch Williams, Gary Sheffield, Tom Henke, Will Cam Boyd, Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer, Bill Duran, and Chuck Finley. We'll be on to our next page here. Jeff King, Nick Eske, Cecil Fielder, Dave Valley with the Seattle Mariners. He is also one of their announcers. Um, and also, Jay Buhner does stop into the, the announcer booth on occasions and talks with the announcers and the fans. Um, that's a cool thing about Jay Buhner. He does live in the Seattle metro area, so he does go out to the stadium sometimes and uh, give some sports commentary because uh, he's uh, a just a real supporter of the Seattle Mariners and the, and the community. Robin Ventura, Dim, Jim DeShales, Juan Beringer, Craig Worthington, and Greg Jeffries. All right, next page here. Will the Thrill Clark with the Giants, Kirk Gibson. Our checklist, card number two, goes through 176. Bobby Thigpen, John Tudor, Andre Dawson, George Brett Hall of Famer, Steve Buchel, and Joey Bell. Okay. <clears throat> then we've got Eddie Murray with the Dodgers, Bob Guerin, Rob Murphy, Tom Herr, George Bell, Spike Owen, uh, Corey Snyder, Fred Lynn, and Eric Davis. 
Go a couple more pages here. I might have to take a sip of water. Matter of fact, I think I will after this one. Dave Parker, uh, Jeff Blauser, Matt Noakes with the Detroit Tigers, fan our our channel favorite, Delino De Shield, Scott Anderson, Lance Parrish, Bobby Bonilla with the Pirates, and I think I know this guy, Cal Ripken Jr. with the Baltimore Orioles and Kevin McReynolds. Hopefully you might have gotten the alert, and uh, I guess they had, uh, oh, I was trying to remember what, what it was called. I think it was the Lou Gehrig Tribute Today or something, or I think it was yesterday, actually. But a real nice video about uh, Cal Ripken talking and looking up to uh, Lou Gehrig as one of his uh, idols growing up in, in baseball. Nice and refreshing. Boy, yesterday here was a hot one. I know you, but this, it was our first hot day this season. Got up to 88 yesterday. That's hot for us. But I did get my grass cut. Today I got to do the weed eating uh, as part of my uh, honeydew list for this week before we go on vacation. So um, let's go on to the next page now. Robbie Thompson, Tim Belcher, Jesse Barfield, Mariano Duncan, Bill Spears, Frank White, Julio Franco, Greg Swindell, another channel favorite, and Benito Santiago. All right. Johnny Ray, Gary Radu, Jeff Parent, Jimmy Key, Tim Raines, Hall of Famer, Carney Lansford, Gerald Young, Gene Larkin, no relation to Barry Larkin. I don't know if you could tell on that one. And Dan Plezak. Okay, next page. We're probably getting close to about the halfway mark. But Lonnie Smith, Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer, Jeffrey Leonard with the Seattle Mariners, Sammy Sosa, Todd Zeal, Bill Landrum, Mike Devereaux, Mike Marshall and Jose Uribe. Of course, Sammy so Sosa is a star player and fan favorite. Juan Samuel, Mel Hall, Kent Urbeck, Sean Dunstan, Kevin Seitzer, Pete Incavigli, Incavigia, Big Biglia, <laughs> Sandy Alomar, Bip Roberts, and Scott Terry. Okay. Uh, Next, we got up on the next page, uh, Dwight Evans, Ricky Jordan, John Olrud, uh, Zane Smith, Walt Weiss, Alvaro Espinosa, Billy Hatcher, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, and Dale Murphy. Dave Bergman, and my favorite player of all times, Ken Griffey Jr., the Kid, Ed Witness, Ed Witness, Ed Whitson, Kirk McCaskill, Jay Bell, Ben McDonald, Daryl Strawberry, fan favorite, Brett Butler, same, and Terry Steinbach. Next page we got here is Ken Caminetti, Dan Glavin, Dwight Smith, Kurt Stilwell, Ruben Sierra, Mike Schooler with the Seattle Mariners, Lance Johnson, Terry Pendleton, and Ellis Burks. Next up to bat, we've got Len Dykstra with the Phillies, Mookie Wilson with the Blue Jays. We've got our third checklist. Our third checklist here. And then we've got the first card after the checklist is... Actually, I think that's... Da, 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 da. I think the numbering actually goes this way, but you get the gist. The next one that we're going to review after the checklist is uh, Nolan Ryan. And they put the little caption in on the card there, No Hit King. He was definitely the No Hit King and definitely a Hall of Famer. Ryan Dubois, Don Robinson, Gene Wilson, 
Kevin Tapani, and Marvell Wynn. Next, we've got Cal Ripken's brother, Billy Ripken, Howard Johnson, not the hotel scene, Brian Holman with the Seattle Mariners, Dan Pasqua, Ken Daly, Jeff Reardon, Jim Presley, Jim Eisenreich, and Danny Jackson. Next up to bat here, we've got Oral Hersheiser, Andy Hawkins, Jose Rijo, Luis Rivera, John Cruck, Jeff Hewson, Joel Skinner, Jack Clark, and fan favorite star player, Chili Davis. All right, Joe Girardi, B.J. Serhoff, Luis Soho, uh, Tom Foley, Mike Moore, Ken Oberkfell, Luis Poli Pol Polonia, Doug Dravek, and Dave Justice. Next set we've got up here is Paul Gibson and Hall of Famer Edgar Martinez with the Seattle Mariners. I should have wore that hat today instead of this one in honor of the right set. I could have grabbed it and changed it, but Frank Thomas, I wasn't thinking ahead of time. I got to look in my content I'm going to cover and see what hat they're wearing. Um, Eric Yelding, Greg Gagne, Brad Kuminick, Kuminsk, Ron Darling, Kevin Bass. Let's go fish and see if we can find some bass. And Jeff Hamilton. All right. Continuing on here, Ron Karkovis, Milt Thompson, Mike Harkey, Mel Stoudemire, Mel Stoudemire, uh, Kenny Rogers, Mitch Webster, Cal Daniels, Matt Noakes, channel favorite, <clears throat> and Dennis Lamp. Dennis Lamp. Ken Hell, Glenn Allen Hill, Dave Martinez, Chris James, Mike Pagliarulo, Hal Morris, Rob Deere, don't let the deer get in the headlights. Greg Olson and Tony Phillips. <clears throat> Next up to bat here is Larry Walker, Ron Hassey, Jack Howe, John Smiley, Steve Finley, Dave Magadan, uh, Greg Litton, Mickey Hatcher, and Lee Gutterman. Okay. Next up to bat here, we've got Norm Charlton, Edgar Diaz, Willie Wilson, Bobby Witt, Candy Maldonado, Craig Lefferts, Dante Bichette, Wally Backman, and Dennis Cook. Okay. Next up to bat, we've got here Pat Borders, uh, Wallace Johnson, Willie Randolph, Danny Darwin, Al Newman, Mark Knudsen, Joe Boever, Larry Sheets, and Mike Jackson with the Seattle Mariners. We've got three people watching, eight thumbs up. The big rush at nine earlier must have been, oh, what's Don Don? Oh, nah, that's okay. We don't want to do anything, nothing to do with the set preview. That's boring. Wayne Edwards, Bernard Gilkey, socializing with Sonia. Good afternoon, everyone. How you doing there, Sonia? Thanks for popping into the stream. Appreciate you being here. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. Uh, Don Slot, Joe Ursula, John Franco, Jeff Brantley, <coughs> Joe Morgan, Dion Sanders, and Terry Leach. Okay, next up to bat, we've got La Le Les Lancaster, Storm Davis, Scott Cobal, uh, checklist up through 352, uh, Cecilio Guante, Joey Cora, Willie McGee, Jerry Reed, and Darren Dalton. Hopefully you are having a good week there. Oh, it looks on the 
Back of the checklist on this one, that's what I forgot to check on the other one. It has Ozzy Smith. Ozzy Smith. So we got Manny Lee, Mark Gardner, Rick Honeycutt, uh, Steve Balboni, Jack Armstrong, Charlie O'Brien, Ron Gant, Lloyd Mosby, and Gene Harris with the Seattle Mariners. Okay. Moving on to the next page as we get closer to the end here. Joe Carter, Charlie Howe, Greg Briley with the Seattle Mariners, Don Paul, Bryn Smith, Carlos Quintana, uh, Steve Lake, Mark Witten, and Edwin Nunez. All right, next page up to bat, Rick Parker. Mark Portugal, Roy Smith, Hector Villanueva, Bob Malecki, Alejandro Pena, Scott Bradley with the Seattle Mariners, Ron Kittle, and Rob Tewksbury. Next we got Wes Gardner, Ernie Witt, Terry Shumpert, Tim Layana, Chris Gwynn, Tony Gwynn's brother for the Dodgers, Jeff Robinson, Scott Scudder, Kevin Romine, and Jose De Jesus. Next page, Jeff or Mike Jeffcoat, Rudy Shones, Mike Dunn, Dick Schofield, Steve Wilson, and Bill Kruger. Of course, Mike Dunn was with the San Diego Padres. Junior Felix, Drew Hall, and Kurt Young. Next up to bat here, we've got Franklin Stubbs, Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer, right? Winfield on the Hall of Fame. Yep. Rick Reed, Charlie LeBrant, Jeff Robinson, Eric Hansen with the Seattle Mariners, Barry Jones, Alex Trevino, not Alex Trebek, from Wheel of Fortune, no, Alex Trebek, of, he's passed on now, he was with uh, Jeopardy, Jeopardy, and John Moses. All right, next up to bat is Dave Johnson, Mackie Sasser, Rick Leach, Lenny Harris, Carlos Martinez, Rex Hudler, Domingo Ramos, Gerald Perry, and Jeff Russell. Next page here, Carlos Baerga, our next checklist. I'll tell you who's on the back of this one when we turn the page. Stan Javier, Kevin Mass, Tom Brunowski, Carmelo Martinez, Willie Blair, Andre Scalarga, and Bud Black. And on the back of this checklist is Will the Thrill Clark with San Francisco. Next page, we have here Greg Harris, Joe Oliver, Greg Brock, Jeff Treadway, Lance McCullers, Dave Schmidt, Todd Burns, Max Venable, and Neil Heaton. Next page here, Mark Williams, Williamson, Keith Miller, Mike Lacoste, Jose Offerman, Jim Lyretz, Glenn Braggs, uh, Ron Robinson, Mark Davis, and Gary Pettis. Next page, Keith Hernandez, Dennis Rasmussen, Mark Acorn. Not a, not an acorn, but an ache. E, e, I, I, might be Eichhorn. Ted Power, Terry Mulholland, Todd Stottlemyer, Jerry Goff, Gene Nelson, and Rich Gedman. Couple more pages to go. One, two, three, four, five. Five and a couple cards. Brian Harper, Mike Felder, Steve Avery, Jack Morris. He's a newer Hall of Famer, isn't he? Yes. He's in the Hall of Fame. Randy Johnson, Hall of Famer, with the Seattle Mariners. Scott Radinsky, Jose DeLeon, Stan Belinda, and Brian Holton. Next, we have Mark Carrion, 
Trevor Wilson, Mike Charperson, Alan Mills, John Candelaria. It's a can it's a Candyman sighting there, Bibster. It's a Candyman sighting. Uh, Paul Ossenmacher, Steve Crawford, Brad Arnsberg, and Sergio Valdez. Okay. Next page here, Mark Parent or Parant, Tom Pagnosi, Greg Harris, Randy Reedy, Dwayne Ward, Nelson Santovina, uh, Joe Clink, Eric Plunk, and Jeff Reed. All right, next page here, Ted Higura, Joe Hesketh, Dan Petrie, that's right, a Candyman sighting, Matt Young with the Seattle Mariners pitcher, Gerald Clark, John Orton, Scott Ruskin, Chris Hoyles, and Daryl Boston. All right, I think this is the next to last page. Francisco Olivers, Ozzy Canseco, I believe that was uh, Jose Canseco's brother, Javier Hernandez, Fred Manrique, Sean Bosky, Jeff Montgomery, Jack Doherty, Keith Comstock with the Seattle Mariners, and Greg Hibbard. Greg Hibbard, and it is. Here is our last card, last page. Lee Smith is a Hall of Famer. Dana Kiker, Darren Akersfeld, and Greg Myers. And our last card, does anybody know who's Clink and Plunk? Anybody know who's on the last checklist before I turn the page? Ryan Samberg, the Rhino, is on the last card in the set. Ryan Samberg. And that concludes our complete set of 1990 Leaf. I already did do the 1991 set. I went through that one. Kind of did that one in phases, part one and part two. And then uh, next, when I get it complete, will be um, will be I'm having a, a, a senior moment here. Will be the 1992 leaf. So we did do the 1991, the 1990 in backwards order, and then next when I get it completed, oh, hold on a second, Boomslang just texted me, uh, da, 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 da. where'd it go, where'd it go, I saw Boomslang's message here, 11 minutes ago, let me, uh, Hold on a second. I'm responding to Boomslang's text, letting him know I'm getting ready to open his box. Yes. Getting ready to open on my channel as I text this message to you. I'll try and keep an eye on that and see if he does respond. But let me um, let me make my picture just a little bit smaller. 
I'm going to move this out of the way momentarily. Oops. My Hall of Fame Friday just tipped over there. That's Lou Brock. Lou Brock is going to be our Hall of Fame Friday this Friday. But let me see if he responds real quick. Or he might just show up in the chat. He might just show up in the chat. But we are going to make an attempt to see if we can do an unboxing of this big box. And we will see what happens. Let me uh, let me get a sip of water while I'm seeing if he'll respond to my text. He might be working or... Um, let's see, that was 10.30 hit up my time. 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. So it's about quarter to two on the East Coast. I don't know what time he gets off work for sure. But um, let me set this off to the side. Let me get a sip of water. Regain my thoughts here. And we will get ready to open up Boom Slang's box that he sent me. Oh, actually, here, hold on. Let me back this up a little bit so you can see the boom slang there and the Donald Blombell there and the getting ready to cut open the Z box. I might have. Might have enough water to finish the stream. I hope so. So how is everybody doing out there in YouTube land? He still did not respond yet. All right, but that's okay. He's probably busy and he, he's probably still working is my guess. But I'll see if I get a word on my phone here. So let's go ahead and get ready to, I'll carefully go through and uh, cut this open here, I think. I don't want to damage, I don't, I remember kind of what he said he sent. That's why I'm cautious on slicing open the box here. open kind of this side get set this side well, at least he did use bubble wrap I'm surprised he didn't remember he had foot tracking on this but that's okay Let's see where the edge of the box is here. So I'm just trying to just score the score the tape. No, cut myself. All I need to do is cut my hand open before we go on vacation. All right, I think I've got the box semi opened. It didn't show, in, show up in the stream, did he yet? No. Nope. Okay, and nothing on my phone, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and see what Boom Slang sent us. Oh my word. Oh, I remember him saying something about a helmet. A, a fold out sign of some sort. He said it wasn't much. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh my word. This is cool. This is from 1987. And it's even in its original wrapping. That is cool there, Boom Slang. Thank you for thinking about me on this one. Should I open it or should I just leave it wrapped, wrapped up here? I'm trying to think what it actually is. I guess I could, you want me to open it? 
You guys tell me. Oh, you know what? Let's see. I'm going to set this aside for now because there is one more item in the box. I might have to find a place to display this. Let me see here. Oh, I just got an alert. It was a box, not an envelope. Yes, <laughs> it definitely was. Hold on a second, I'm going to respond to him again. Telling him opening on my live stream right now. Watch replay later, I'll say. <laughs> there we go. Definitely a big box. Opening up my live stream now. Okay, and then this is the other thing he said he sent. And this one is semi sort of in a bag still. It's a Seattle Mariners helmet. And I'm sorry, but it's in a bag, but it's not going to be in a bag for long. This is going to be become part of my channel content. That's, oh my word. It's a souvenir helmet. This is not a protective helmet. Yes, it's just a a giveaway. It's a souvenir. They must have given them out at, at the Seattle Mariners. Um, I'm going to do the switch over here. <laughs> Looks like I'm wearing a hard hat now. Looks like I'm wearing a hard hat. There we go. And that is what's in the box here. But boom slang, it did make it here real well. Just making sure there's nothing floating around in the bottom of the box and I throw something away. But I'm sure boom slang would have told me. So let me um, set this aside for now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on. It's definitely uh, needs to be adjusted. But that is cool there, Bumsling. Oh, it can be adjusted too. It can be adjusted if need be. It can be adjusted. <laughs> But there we go, a Seattle Mariners souvenir helmet from Boomslang. From the Boomslang. Makes it turns it into like a like a fisheye lens here. You can kind of see me hanging out here. <laughs> but that is very cool there, Boomslang. Definitely a cool little souvenir helmet. I wonder if back in the day it was even made in, nope, it wasn't even made in China. It was made in Cleveland, Ohio. Sports Products Corporation, a subsidiary of, um, Erdem Industries. And it does give a warning on here. It says, warning, this is not a protective helmet. It's a souvenir helmet. So I will put that there. You guys want me to open this up so you can see what it looks like? I know I want to open it up to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and unmask the masked product. OK. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and score the score the plastic here. I think it definitely is some type of a, a fold out or something. That's for sure. Okay, I think I got it scored enough now. Let me take off. I'll probably have to hold it up in front of in front of me so you guys can see it. Because it looks like it is a pretty good sized deal. That's for sure. He must have found this in some sports lots that he bought or something. But I am glad you thought of me being a favorite Seattle Mariner fan on your channel. But let's see what this looks like. I wonder if it was supposed to be like some kind of a... Oh, that's cool looking. Definitely colorful, that's for sure. Oh my word. This is so cool. I could use this at my garage sale to, as like an advertising type boy. Oh wait, it does open up one more. Oh my word. Definitely will not fit, uh, barely fit on the screen here. And wait until I show you the back of it. Wait until I show you the back of it. There. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty good there. It does look like it does set up and display some way. But this is cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this was back in the day when we only had 26 teams. In case you were wondering. 26 teams. That is cool. You guys want to see the other side? <laughs> it's a, oh, is it? Oh, it's a windshield protect. Oh, that is cool. I didn't think that I'm not going to use it as a windshield protector because then it'll get all faded. But that is cool because look at the back. Look at the back. The back does have, okay, let's see, I can fold these because these wings do not have anything on there. But there you, do, there you go. You've got all the, the baseball logos back in the day. When this was made. This is cool there, Mickey. That, now that somebody said that, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's a... There, I'll move it right back here for now. That is cool. Yeah, that top piece there would be where your mirror is in the middle of the windshield. That makes perfect sense now. That makes perfect sense. You just fold it in this way, and you fold it in this way, and you got the Seattle Mariners windshield screen. That makes sense. Who figured that out? Who put that in there? The Bipster said it's a windshield protector. From back, he probably remembers when they made them back in the day. Sorry, got all that cardboard every which way around here. I'll have to go outside and. But that is cool. That is definitely, definitely cool. Thank you, there, Boomslang. That was much appreciated and well thought of. But I do like that display. It might be able to be viewed somewhere along the channel, along somewhere along when we do stuff here. Let me see here. I think this can go here. This can go here, but we can't show all the teams, that's for sure. 
But that is pretty, pretty cool. That is awesome. Where's my Seattle Mariners? Yeah, they're running around. Oh, there's the M's. They're down here. You can't really see them. I could turn around the other way, and I think I can get most of the teams. Let me see that. Let me try that real quick. It'll be upside down. But... Michael Heat's in a house. Let's see. You can almost see all the teams there. Got the it's cutting off the last little row here. Oh wait, let's see. Audrey's. <clears throat> there we go. We can get almost all the teams in there. However, it is upside down. So I guess they made one for each. Maybe they had one for each team, or maybe this one, the Seattle Mariners, did as a giveaway at their um, at their stadium. I do like the older logos for the Philadelphia Phillies with Independence Hall. Uh, what other one have their logo? I think the Mets. No, I think the Mets still have that on their logo. But, uh, boom, that is pretty, pretty cool. Thank you there, Boom Slime. Really do appreciate that very, very much. Now I got all kinds of cardboard remnants all over to break that. But that's okay. That was very thoughtful of you, Boom Slime. Very thoughtful of you indeed. Go right behind me there. That's an easy storage for now. Let's see. Let me scooch that over. That's a 5,000 count box. Oh, wait. No, we're going to put that back up here. Because we're going to roll into the Bipster box. We're going to roll into the Bipster box. Let me readjust here. Let me get um, the Bipster box into position here. Let me get the Bipster box up here. The Bipster box is up next. Let's go raise. All right. Then let's see, I think we're good to go there. We'll get this ready. You can see my overhead camera there. See the red light? That means we're streaming. <laughs> Sometimes you probably wonder what that red light was shining there. I'm thinking that's probably what you've all been thinking. All right. So. I'm going to move this here. Make me a little bit bigger here. Get things ready here. Okay, I'm going to turn on some light here because the sun is moving above the house and it makes a little bit less light in here. Let me open my blind. That, that works good now. But thank you there, Mickey. You can see the helmet sitting over here. I'll have to find another place to display that somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> All right. Let me get things ready here for the Bipster box, of course. Get my pen out here. Uh, da, da, da. Six people watching. Ten thumbs up. Thummies up. Thummies up. Thummies up for me. Let me get uh, this set up for our three Bipster babies. Dun, 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 dun. Do the stars. 
Hall of Fame. All right. We're going to write the, the pack numbers on there when we get them chosen. And let me get things set up here and ready to go. Do that. Let me get the Bipster wheel set up here. Oh man, I just missed out on that auction. Okay. Probably another team that's bidding together and when they see it's just them, they say, okay, delete yours, we won. <laughs> Sorry, I do a lot of bidding on Deal Bash, in case anybody's familiar with Deal Bash. I've gotten some really good items for really good prices. Oh, not yet there, Michael. Not yet there, Michael. But go ahead. you can leave it in there, but please don't anybody else guess yet. But choose, uh, get ready to choose three numbers from 1 through 58. Three numbers from 1 through 58. Okay. Uh, but let me get the Wheel of Names ready here uh, for the Bipster box. Give me a second here and I'll get the wheel of names ready. Okay, there's the Bipster box. Oh, but I want to open it so you guys can see that all of the numbers are on the wheel. Okay. There we got. We got the Bipster numbers on the wheel. All right. 1 through 52, so go ahead, uh, oh, that's okay there, Michael. Uh, go ahead and start your guesses, please, and we will let it run until 11.10. As I get things ready to go here, 11.10. Um, okay, I think I can put this stuff away. Um, I want to thank everybody ahead of time for uh, the great sale and... Uh, my auctions this weekend, it was it was a very good weekend for sales. I really do appreciate all the participation in the channel, the participation in um, my eBay sales for my eBay 77 cent auctions. It has been fun. It was a fun-filled weekend, busy for me. I sent out almost 60 orders yesterday in the mail. Almost 60 orders yesterday. I think it was like 58 orders that went in the mail yesterday. So I really do appreciate all the support in the channel and all the support that everybody gives me. Um, uh, if, for those looking for my auctions on the channel, there still are a good number that are still listed up in eBay. Okay. So there are still a bunch of auctions listed up there. Those are the ones I'm going to go with for now. Um, I'm going to be going on vacation on Monday for at least a week, maybe a couple days more. I don't know for sure, but we should be back by Flag Day. Uh, our daughter's going to stay at the house while, she, while we're out of town, so she'll be doing that. So we've got Michael Heath in there with 3, 6, and 18. Oh, i got to get my wife's in there, don't I? Um... You get my wife's entry in here. Okay, here's my wife's entry coming in there. All right, so we've got Michael Heath with 3, 6, and 18. We've got uh, Bipster in at 51, 52, and 28. I like how you did it out of order there, Bipster, but that's okay. 12, 18, and 55. All right, and we've got... Uh, less than a minute to go at 11. Uh, there's a few, few people popping in. If you want to put a guess in, you can guess three numbers, three numbers from 1 to 58, 
and at 1111, I like odd, weird numbers like that. So instead of 1110, we're going to go to 1111. We've got one more minute to get your guess in. I just saw my computer went to 1110. But uh, while we're waiting for that to take place, um, I'm going to shuffle the numbers up 11 times instead of the normal 7 while we're waiting for 1111 to show up. So here's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. All right, we are shuffled up 11 times now. So we are good to go there. Uh oh, the doorbell just rang. Let's see if my wife needs any help. I don't think so. I'm trying to remember what was, if, I can't remember if we had, we had a, uh, uh, FedEx show up yesterday, or yeah, FedEx, UPS, and the post office. UPS and the post office were at my front door at the same time yesterday. That was really weird. It doesn't usually happen that way. My neighbor across the street said, wow, you've been keeping pretty busy lately. I'm like, yeah, I had a real busy weekend with sales. Matter of fact, uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited. My neighbor across the street is going to, he's got a, a, a whole box full of cards he wants me to go through. And he said, uh, He'd like to, he said he don't mind even donating them, but he said, you know, if you, if you, whatever you feel is fair as far as sharing from some of the proceeds, if you sell some of my cards, that would be much appreciated. So, um, but give me a second here. It is 11.11. Okay. Let me go really quick and check. Um, I win, I win. Laugh out loud. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, what truth? You can go ahead and put a, put a guess in there really quick. Put a guess in there. Did, you didn't guess already, did you? Uh, let's see. Michael Heath guessed. Fipster guessed. Um, what, what truth? Go ahead and put three numbers. Choose three numbers from 1 to 58. 1 to 58. And we'll, we'll give you, we'll let you get into the entry process here. As I go downstairs real quick and see if that was the doorbell I heard ring. Okay. So hold on. Turn my fan on so I can get some air. Okay, I am back. It was just our. It was just our neighbor. Oh, there you go. What truth? Okay, seven twenty-one and forty-three. Okay, let me do a refresh on the chat. Sorry about that. Just had to speak to him. Making sure everything was good with him. He had a, oh, probably a couple of months ago, he had a heart attack. and He's on the recovery stage right now, but he's doing good. That was nice to know. He just needed a, a witness on his insurance paperwork. So my wife went ahead and signed that for him as a witness. So, um, yes. 
So we're going to get ready to go here. Uh, oh, let me turn the volume on really quick here. Make sure it is turned up. And then we will choose our three numbers. So this, uh, in case you're wondering what's going on there, what truth. Can't remember if you've been in here for these before. But we're going to choose out three Bipster packs out of this box right here. This is something we do at the end of every, all, all my live streams. Uh, usually five days a week. Well, we go Tuesday through Saturday. Saturday, sometimes we take a break from the Bitster box. It just depends on what we got going on. But, um, so yeah. That is what we will be doing uh, for today. So what we do is then we, we write the three numbers down here. If you chose any of the three numbers from your choices in the guessing, you get a free entry into my June end of month drawing for free gifts. Okay, free giveaways, basically. Okay, so let's go ahead and spin the wheel for pack number one. We like to have fun in this channel. It's silly fun, but sometimes it's fun. Number 52. 52 pickup. Remember playing that when I was a kid a lot. Grandma would... No, it wasn't Grandma. We would just... <laughs> fly the cards all over the place and say, Okay, it's time to pick up the 52 cards. Everybody remember 52 pickup? Okay, Robert Hone. Uh, since your number didn't come up yet, we will include you, Robert Hane. Robert Hane. You didn't win the cards in the pack. You don't win the cards in the pack. No, no, no. We'll, we'll go into the phase two part of it in just a minute there. You don't win the cards in the pack. Hmm. Down the road, maybe we can do something like that. If your pack gets chosen. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll work on something like that. How's that sound? But it gives you free entries into my end of month giveaway. Okay. And for those that know my channel, there's different ways. You can become a Patreon member. You can become a channel member. You can be first in the live chat. And we do do trivia sometimes. So there's multiple ways sometimes within the month period to try and get free entries. And if you do give a super chat the channel, that gives you additional entries into the monthly drawing anyway. Uh, in addition, um, last month we had 528 entries, I believe it was, into the monthly giveaway. No, you get an entry into on his end of month giveaway. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to close that. And we're going to spin again for pack number two. Did anybody pick pack number 52? I don't think so. Anybody pick pack number 52? Somebody did get 52. Dipster guessed 52. Number 35. 35 is our next pack. So we're picking two from the back of the box. Was there a 35? I don't think so. So right now it looks like Bipster got a 52. All right, just making notes as we go through here. And nobody picked 35. All right, let's go on to pack number three. Pack number 36. Wow, 35 and 36. That is pretty cool. Any 36s in the guessing? I don't believe so. 3, 6. Well, Michael, you were close. You put 3 and 6, but not 36. <laughs> um, so no 36s were guessed. Okay, so we got Bipster gets an entry into the Wheel of Names. 
Dipster gets an entry into the Wheel of Names. Let me set that off out of the way for now. Then we will get ready to pull out our three packs. But let me get Bipster his free entry into the Wheel of Names. The Bipster of all things wax pack. Or the Bipster of all things good and godly. I forgot that's his new channel name. Alright, let me get this in here. Paste. Go ahead and save this. Okay. So we now have 91 entries. We're getting close to our first tier for our first prize of the month. Oh, and then also for those that are new in the channel, every 100 entries gets a new prize added to the uh, to the giveaway okay the prize is never forementioned or advertised or anything but for those that have been in my channel and have won in the past they do know that I do send some awesome giveaways uh, and uh, this month I will definitely be creative I will say that and none the least but I will come up with something good for this month's June giveaway okay let me get back into Little Bipster is in second grade today. Check out the new video. We will do that, Bipster. Go ahead and put your link for your channel in the stream if you want, dear Bipster. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid here. Hope I don't knock anything down in the back. I don't think I did. We're going to pick out 52, so 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52. Ooh, 52 is a thick pack. 52 is a thick back. Oh, all our packs are from the back of the box. Are from the back of the box. 28. Uh, no. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So that was a different one. All three packs are from the back of the box. Right, 28, 9, 30, 31, 32, 35, and 36, and 52. 52 is going to be our good zinger today. We set these here, and what I do next, don't guess yet, don't guess yet, for those that are regulars in the channel, don't guess yet. We got Jose Bautista on the front of that one, Pee Wee Reese on the front of that one, we got a Greg Maddox on the front of that one. Okay, so we got two Hall of Famers and a star. Then we've got a Greg Maddox on the back on that one. A, who is that one? The record 1990 record breaker and a Sean Green on the back of that one. So the next round, what we do is we choose uh, if there's more stars or more Hall of Famers. We choose if there's more stars or Hall of Famers in the next thing. Oh, there, there you go. Thanks there, Bibster. So if you can, we will do it until 11.25. Choose either, is there going to be more stars or more Hall of Famers? So stars are Hall of Famers, and try and put either the emoji star in there, or just type in star or H-O-F, H-O-F for Hall of Fame. All right, Mr. Fat, it's Mr. Fat, chooses stars. Okay, so until 11.25, you got a, about a minute to go to get your guess in. So choose stars or Hall of Famers. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get these out of the bags just so they're ready to go. Okay. All right. As you're putting it, stars for five days in a row, Vimster says. Stars for five days in a row. Okay. This will be our three. Oh wow. Oh, the bag probably wouldn't stick together, so that's why it's got blue tape on it. 
It was too close on the edge there. Tell you what, we will. Uh, let's see. What, 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 what. Uh, split this up since it's a thick pack into two different sections and I will set these team bags aside for now we do have 1125 as soon as the first 1126 comes in we will end the entry phase we will end the entry phase as soon as I see 1126 on my computer or 1126 in the chat one of the two and then we'll see how many stars or Hall of Famers we pull out of these. That's a cool Greg Maddox on top there, that's for sure. All right. So let's go into our next phase here. All right, I got 11.26. Oh, I like that, Maddox. <laughs> All right. Let's see, let me do a refresh here because my computer does say 1126. All entries are in. So let's start going through the cards. Let's start going through the cards. So I don't gotta have to go. Oh, I should just left it that way. Let me go here and here. Those are our pack numbers, and we've got a Greg Maddox here. Greg Maddox. And we've got a, oh wow, that's a, oh wow, this is cool. This is one of those metal cards. Steel stats for Greg Maddox. Leaf, uh, 1996. All right, then we've got another Greg Maddox. Ooh, Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. Uh-oh. This must be a Greg Maddox pack. <laughs> Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the Greg Maddox sweetness there. Uh, Harold Newhauser. Newhauser is a Hall of Famer. Uh, Charlie Robertson. Robertson is a star player. Uh, Al Kaline, Hall of Famer, Luis Aparicio, Hall of Famer, Charles Geringer, Geringer, Hall of Famer, Buster Posey, star player, uh, Paul DeJong, star player, Gold Cup card for Corey Snyder, Corey Snyder, Corey Snyder, and Corey Snyder, okay, next round here, Andrew Benatendi, Star player, Leo DeRocher, DeRocher, Hall of Famer, Andrew McCutcheon, star player, Orlando Cepeda, Hall of Famer, Ernie Banks, Hall of Famer, Ernie Banks, Frank Robinson, Hall of Famer, Orlando Cepeda, Hall of Famer, we got Tory Hunter, Tory Hunter, I believe is just a star player, Right. Catfish Hunter is the only hunter in the Hall of Fame. Um, then we've got next is da, 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 Chad Billingsley. Billingsley, I believe, is just a star player. Yep, Billingsley, a star player. Chad Billingsley, Topps Chrome. Carl Yastrzemski, um, Hall of Famer. Uh, Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. And I believe that's another Greg Maddox there. That sure looks like him, doesn't it? Another Greg Maddox. So it looks like the, the Hall of Famers currently hold the lead. The Hall of Famers currently hold the lead. Okay. So let's go into the next round here. We've got uh, record breakers here. Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. Then we've got George Brett, Hall of Famer. We've got the Seattle Mariners and Houston Astros sticker card. But it's a Yankees card for sure. 
a Yankees card for sure, so we'll just put that in the star stack, even though it's not really a star. <laughs> it's not a player, but it can't be a Hall of Fame. We got Phil Necro. Phil Necro. Hall of Famer. Catfish Hunter Hall of Famer. Felix Hernandez, um, my Seattle Mariners future Hall of Famer. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. Don Mattingly, star player, that's for sure. Don Mattingly. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Vladdy Daddy. That's the Vladdy Daddy. Jose Canseco, star player. Don Baylor. Pretty sure it's just a star player. Um, who do we got that? Is that Ricky Henderson? Yep, Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer. And we've got Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. Goose Gossage. Goose Gossage. Hall of Famer. Harold Reynolds. Harold Reynolds. Uh, with my Seattle Mariners star player, Scott Bradley, Seattle Mariners, Scott Bankhead, Seattle Mariners, uh, Steve Balboni, Seattle Mariners, and Pee Wee Reese, Hall of Famer. Uh, the star players are trying to catch up here. Looks that way. Of course, these cards go into this stack when we're done. So, looking, get it, could be a close call again today. There we go. Uh, we got a Sean Green. Everybody knows where that one goes. Uh, Jose Bautista, star player. Felix Hernandez, star player. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Trevor Hoffman. Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer. Jose Canseco, star player, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Famer. Matt Williams, Matt Williams, star player. Ken Caminiti, star player. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Uh, Mark Davis and Dwight Gooden. Gooden's a Hall of Famer, right? Nope. Star player's card. Tino Martinez with the Seattle Mariners rookie card. That's awesome. Then we've got, uh, let me keep that on top for now, Mike Campbell's, uh, Darnell Coles, uh, Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer, uh, Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer, Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer, Tim Raines, Hall of Famer, Chuck Klein, Jose Bautista, star player, but Chuck Klein is a star player. So it could be close here. Could be close here. Let me put Sean Green here and my Seattle Mariners here. Going to be a little close. Let me stack these up really quick here. Straighten them out a little bit. I'll put the Hall of Famers over here. The Hall of Famers might have the edge, but we will see. We will see. Are we ready for the count? Are we ready for the count? Oh, Caminetti Kem is a rookie. Oh, okay, is the Caminetti card a rookie? Let me get the Caminetti there. Just uh, Yeah, I'll go through these all, Bipster. Uh, later. Hernandez, Green, Bautista, Caminiti. Oh, okay. Is this Caminiti's, uh, by Jove, it is his rookie card. Probably with Matt Williams. Matt Williams. How about Jose Canseco? No, no, okay. So, just the Caminiti. All right, so let's go ahead and count up our stars here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, that's a thicker card, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So 34 star cards, 34 star cards. You put the count down here. I should have moved it more to the right. 34. Okay. Now let's count up our Hall of Famer cards. Okay, let me, and then let me get ready here for... Yeah, Bipster pick 52. Okay, so we had Mr. Fib or Mr. Fab started pick stars, Bipster pick stars, Sonia pick stars, and Cards in My Car pick stars. So if the stars win, everybody wins. But I don't know. Let's count up the Hall of Famers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42 Hall of Famer cards. I don't think anybody guessed right today. That's, I don't think that's happened too often. 42 Hall of Famers. Oh my word. 42 Hall of Famers. And everybody chose stars. Cards in my car chose stars. Socializing with Sonia chose stars. Bipster chose stars. Mr. Fab chose stars. So one, two, three, four. Four people chose stars, but nobody chose Hall of Famers. My, oh my. Yep, Bipster denied. He broke his run. Bipster broke his run. But that was fun. That was fun today. Did get a Tino Martinez rookie card. Might have gotten a couple other rookies out of here. Let's see. We'll see. We'll go through the star cards at a later date. I will pull out my Mariners. I will. Uh, mine doesn't count, Donald. I was watching on TV and couldn't comment. I made my star prediction just as you were finishing. So I'm going to change mine to HOF since it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right there, Big Ray. Big Ray. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. He said star, and it was way after the selection point. <laughs> All right. Let me get a sip of water here really quick. All right, I do have this, but I'm probably going to save this for another time, the Heritage. But I did get um, one last product that I did get in the other day. Um, so I'm going to set this stuff aside. Since I don't have to put any additional entries on the wheel, let me put these here for separation. Oops, hold on. Let me put my batting, my batting helmet down here. I'll call it my batting helmet from from Boomslang. And then I'll put my Hall of Famers for my Hall of Fame sort. Appreciate that. I really like this this card there, Bipster. This Greg Maddox metal. In case you're wondering. You can probably hear it. It's a metal card with a I should pull off the protective plastic. But Bipster always said to leave it on. 
pickups are always set to leave it on. Let me set this over here for my Hall of Fame sort. And I'm going to do uh, my first box preview. I will have another one later down the road. Or maybe we'll just knock it all out in one fell swoop. Um, do you guys want to see me open one of these boxes? It's a Topps X Derek Jeter MLB Trading Card Collection. It's a Top X Derek Jeter MLB Trading Card Collection. I, I ordered two just to, to get, get a little look-see. This is some of the stuff you can only order from the Topps website. Again, it does say um, Topps X Derek Jeter, designed and curated by Derek Jeter. Top sat down with Derek Jeter to put together a 41 card set featuring three unique subsets Captain's Corner, Captain's Inspirations, and Captain's Connections. This original set captures cherished teammates, esteemed peers, and the greatest influences on Derek's career. Included in each of these boxes are 10 cards per box. Uh, 1 out of 12 are the odds to receive an autograph. So 1 out of 12 boxes. So I bought 2, so I'll have to see what we find. Look for autographs and parallel cards. This came out this year, and um, you would, what you would do is you would order these, and they would only produce as many that they sold. So these generally, unless you buy them online for probably gouging prices, um, it's best when these come out and get released to order them directly from the TOPS website. All you do is you go to www.topscoop.com and create an account with them and you'll get notified whenever they come out with different types of uh, TOPS exclusive products. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these boxes at least. Maybe if we don't get anything excited, maybe we will open up the second box. Here, I'll put the other one up here just as a display. We'll do that this way, just as a display. And we will open up this box, because I do have about 20 minutes to go to finish by my 12 o'clock noon. So let me unpackage this one. I was kind of excited when it came in the mail yesterday. I was like, cool, cool. And yes, these co usually come in a nice little box. It is one little silver pack looking type thing. You can see there's nothing else in there. They do package them very well. And it came in a package that was well padded. It was a little box, actually. It was a small box that these two bo little boxes fit into. So... Let me just set this here. Actually, here. This one, you can almost read the back of the box. This one we'll put over here with Derek Jeter's picture on it. And we will see what we get for our 10 cards in this set, in this little package here. What I'm hoping for is a Ken Griffey Jr. out of the two boxes. If I get one Ken Griffey Jr., I'd be happy. I mean, uh, of course, uh, there's probably Derek Jeter in there. All right. So let's go ahead and, and I usually will penny sleeve these all when I'm done and stuff. So let's see who we find in here. So we've got Dave Winfield. Dave Winfield for the New York Yankees. Of course, Winfield is a Hall of Famer. Next, we've got Tim Raines. Tim Raines is a Hall of Famer. Okay. Next, we've got Andy Pettit. Andy Pettit, I'm going to slide that over just a little bit to give us a little bit more space here. We'll put the Hall of Famers over here. Andy Pettit is a star player, but it looks like maybe these might be not all necessarily. There's a Bo Jackson. A Bo Jackson. A Bo Jackson card for sure. Uh, 
All right. Hideki Matsui. And Bo Jackson was with the Yankees. Um, Hideki Matsui with the New York Yankees. Uh, David Wright with the New York Mets. Okay, star player. Ryan Sandberg with the Cubs. Hall of Famer. Ozzy Smith. Hall of Famer. Paul O'Neill, star player for the New York Yankees. O'Neill. The only O's we have in the Hall of Fame are O'Day, O'Malley, and O'Rourke, and Mel Ott. Only four players with the last name starting with O. All right. And Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams. Is another star player. So we did get a few Hall of Famers out of there. Ozzie Smith, Ryan Samberg, Tim Raines, and Dave Winfield. All right. So cool cards there. This is listed as a Captain's Corner card. I don't think we got any insert cards. Captain's Inspirations, Captain's Corner. Captain's Corner, Captain's Corner, Captain's Corner. So one inspiration card. All right. So I'm so excited I can't hold it. I'm, I'm going to open You You guys want me to open up the other box too? <clears throat> Bipsters scale 4 of 10 Bipsters on that box. Because of the four Hall of Famers? <laughs> All right, should we go for the second one? I want to go for the second one. Should we go for the second one? Let's go for the second box and see if we can pull out an autograph. I think so. We're going to open up the second box. That's what I thought too there, Big Ray. Let's go for the second box. I'm not going to collect the whole set in this collection, but what I do want to do is just see what I can get out of these two boxes. Because if I wanted to try and get the whole set, I probably would have, with 41 cards in the set, I probably would have went for 10, but I didn't want to spend that much money. I want the third card down. Uh, as long as it's not a Hall of Famer, um, you're 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 welcome to it possibly there, Bipster. But if it's a Hall of Famer, probably not, unless I get two. You mean the Tim Raines? Are you talking about the Tim Raines, or are you talking about the David Wright? <laughs> I like how he says, "I want the third card down." All right, so let's go into pack number two here of these two mini boxes here. Uh, okay, Vipster did not respond yet, but we'll see what he says. Um, no, in the next box. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see. All right. There we go. So first in this pack, we've got Mariano Rivera. Hall of Famer. So you said third card down in the box, huh? We got David Ortiz, Pappy. He'll be a future Hall of Famer, I'm sure. And, uh, <laughs> Big Ray says, I'll take the seventh then. <laughs> Okay, so David Ortiz, future Hall of Famer. There we go. Nomar Garcia Para. Nomar Garcia Para. Uh, possibly a future Hall of Famer to Bipster. Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer for the Atlanta Braves. Let's see, this was four. 
And then number five is Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn, star player. Number six is Roger Clemens, star player. Number seven is Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer there. Hall of Famer there, uh, Big Ray. <laughs> Dipster says I'll pass. All right, and then Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Don't think we're going to get an autograph. <laughs> Alfonso Soriano with the New York Yankees. And John Schmoltzy with the Atlanta Braves is our final card. Is our final card. So let's see. What did we get in that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got five Hall of Famers out of those ten cards. The John Schmoltz, the Wade Box. Alan Trammell, the Chipper Jones, and the Mariano Rivera. First box, we got Ozzie Smith, Brian Sandberg, Tim Raines, and Dave Winfield. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Hall of Famers. Two Bipsters in that box. Only two Bipsters? <laughs> and then, of course, Soriano. Clemens, star player, Mo Vaughn, star player, Nomar Garcia Part, David Ortiz, Bernie Williams, uh, Paul O'Neill, David Wright, Hideki Matsui, Bo Jackson, and Andy Pettit. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then five pretty good star players. One, two, three, four, five. But they're all, again, Derek Jeter's favorites so not too bad <laughs> left behind times with a two dollar super chat thank you there blake appreciate that appreciate that very very much get left behind into the wheel of names for the month of june Appreciate that very much there, Blake. And get this saved. We are at 93 entries for the month of June. By the way, Blake, your uh, prize from the May giveaway is it went in the mail yesterday. It went in the mail yesterday. Just so you do know, uh, let me get some of these cards here. Penny sleeved up for my Hall of Fame collection, for sure. Actually, here, I'm just going to set them down here really quick and put John Schmoltz in his sleeve. And, uh, Wade Boggs in his sleeve. Uh, Alan Trammell in his sleeve. I could have went through and just read the backs of these cards, that's for sure. And we have uh, Chipper Jones, because I think uh, Derek Jeter on the backs of these cards pretty much um, got the penny sleeve and it disappeared. <laughs> Mariano Rivera. Um, you have a few minutes. I could read the back of the Hall of Famer cards, that's for sure. I don't know where that penny sleeve slid into. It slid somewhere down here. Uh, Ryan Sandberg. I did not get a Ken Griffey Jr. like I was hoping. I'm pretty sure Ken Griffey Jr. meant something to Derek Jeter. If not, that's a sad day that he was just happy with his New York Yankee career and not when he started off. Oh, wait, no. Did Jeter come? Wait. I can't remember now. 
but let's go through these really quick here. Uh, John Schmoltz, Captain's Corner. John Schmoltz was a prominent peer during Derek Jeter's career. Although the majority of his time was spent in the National League, in Schmoltz's Hall of Fame career, he accumulated 3,084 strikeouts, a 213 win, 155 loss record, and earned a World Series ring in 1995. Yes, they are nice looking cards, that's for sure. And then here, this one is Wade Boggs, Captain's Inspirations. Growing up, Derek Jeter observed one of the most technical contact hitters in the history of baseball, uh, Wade Boggs. Through the course of 9,180 career at-bats, Wade finished with a career 328 batting average, joining the exclusive 3,000 hit club with 3,010 of his own. That is cool. All right, that was Wade Boggs. Jay Thompson's in the house. Jay Thompson's in the house. Left behind time said, these are nice looking cards. Speedy is getting walked. All right, thanks there, Victor. You take care of you out watching while you're taking Speedy for a, a walk. Alan Trammell. Alan Trammell? Uh, Captain's Inspirations. Uh, growing up, Jeter looked up to Alan Trammell, standout shortstop for the nearby Detroit Tigers. The pair of shortstops with Michigan ties both reside in the Hall of Fame, are known for their unmatched fielding consistency, and have combined for nine total defensive awards. Alan Trammell. Make sure this is saved before I do end the stream a little bit here. Alright. Uh, next we have here is Chipper Jones, Captain's Corner. Chipper Jones was a prominent peer during Derek Jeter's historic career. Both infielders were viewed amongst the elite young stars of the 1990s. And now both reside in the Hall of Fame. Alright, next we've got here is Mariano Rivera. Captain's Corner. Mariano Rivera was a prominent peer and teammate of Jer Derek's for 19 seasons. Through all the years spent, though all through all the years spent together, there was never a moment where Derek was not confident when the ball was given to number 42. Mariano Rivera. Next, we got up to bat. Ozzie Smith. Captain's Inspirations. Growing up, Derek Jeter watched one of the greatest defensive shortstops to ever play, the Wizard of Oz, Ozzie Smith. Spectators were dazzled by his famous backflip and his breathtaking glove work. Smith was a 15-time MLB All-Star, 13-time Defensive Award winner, and a World Series champion. Awesome. Ozzy Smith. Next up to bat here, we've got Captain's Inspirations. Growing up two and a half hours outside of Wrigley, Wrigleyville, Derek Jeter could not help but admire the play of Hall of Fame second baseman Ryan Samberger. Samberger. Sorry, why did I say Samberger? Ryan finished with a career 68 WAR, racking up nine defensive awards seven silver sluggers, and was recognized as National League MVP in 1984. Next up to bat here, Hall of Famer, Tim Raines, Captain's Corner. Tim Raines was a prominent peer and teammate of Derek Jeter's for three seasons, They, where they won two World Series championships in 96 and 98. The Hall of Fame outfielder played for a total of 23 seasons and became just the second father to ever play in an MLB game with his son, 2001 with the Baltimore Orioles, Tim Raines. Next and last up to bat for the Hall of Famer cards is Dave Winfield, Captain's Inspirations. Growing up, Derek Jeter idolized Hall of Famer Dave Winfield, selected in the MLB, the NBA, and the NFL drafts. Dave was viewed by Derek 
to be larger than life. The slugging outfielder was a 12-time MLB All-Star Game selection and World Series champion over his 22-year career. Awesome for the Hall of Famers there. Now we'll take a moment and go through the other cards here from the non-Hall of Famer, but players that made a difference in Derek Jeter's life. Boom Slang is in the house. Hey there, there, Boom Slang. Thanks for popping into the stream here. Just got home from work. Awesomeness. I'm going to finish a few more cards here from these uh, Tops X Derek Jeter cards. And then we'll go ahead and finish up the stream. We do have 12 o'clock, but I hear my wife downstairs. She's shampooing the carpet. So I'm just going to go through a few more cards here. And we will finish up the stream here. So this one is for Andy Pettit. Captain's Corner is the... There's different uh, group sets in here. He's got um, Captain's Corner and Captain's Inspirations. And I don't think we got any. We might have uh, Captain's Connections. I think that's the three different subsets. I didn't get the checklist out for this one. But let's go with uh, Andy Pettit for Captain's Corner. Andy Pettit was a prominent peer and teammate of Derek Jeter on multiple occasions. Andy served as one of New York's big game pitchers during all five of the tandem, Tandem's World Series title runs. All right, Andy Pettit. Next we got up to bat here is Hideki Matsui. Captain's Corner. Hideki Matsui was a prominent peer and teammate of Derek Jeter during this time with the New York Yankees. Godzilla is best known for his 2009 World Series MVP performance, hitting C615 in six games with three homers and eight RBIs. Again, Hideki Matsui. Next we got up to bat here is David Wright, Captain's Corner. David Wright was a prominent peer during Derek Jeter's career, with both players serving as captains for their respective New York clubs. Both Jeter and Wright were respected for playing the game the right way and being outstanding representatives for their organization. organizations. David Wright. Next up to bat here we've got Paul O'Neill, Captain's Corner. Paul O'Neill was a prominent peer and teammate of Derek Jeter, serving as one of the veterans of the clubhouse upon Jeter's 1995 debut. During Paul's nine-year stint with the Yankees, he tallied 858 RBIs, 185 home runs, and contributed to four World Series titer, title. Paul O'Neill. Okay, next up to bat here is Nomar Garcia Para, Captain's Corner. Nomar Garcia Para was a prominent peer of Derek Jeter, with both debuting a little over a year apart from each other. Despite being hitter rivals on the field, the two MLB All Stars always enjoyed competing against one another. Again, Nomar Garcia Para. The next we have here is Alfonso Soriano, Captain's Corner. Alfonso Soriano was a prominent peer and teammate on two separate occasions. During Derek Jeter's career, Alfonso and Derek were recognized as one of the best middle infield duos in baseball during the early 2000s. Awesome. Alfonso Soriano. Okay, next up to bat here we have Roger Clemens, Captain's Corner. All right, we've got Roger Clemens was a prominent peer and teammate during Derek Jeter's career on multiple occasions. The Rocket headed up a loaded Yankee starting rotation during their 1999 and 2000 World Series title runs. Roger Clemens with the Yankees. Next up to bat, Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn was a prominent, oh, captain's corner. 
sorry, uh, Mo Vaughn was a prominent peer during Derek Jeter's career, adding another chapter in the historic Yankees-Red Sox rivalry, Moe's 1995 American League MVP campaign, and was a banner was a banner year for the hit dog as he posted a 300 average with 39 long balls and a league leading 126 RBIs. Mo Vaughn with the Boston Red Sox. Next up to bat here, we got David Ortiz, Big Pappy. Captain's Corner, David Ortiz was a prominent peer during Derek Jeter's career, having squared off in some epic postseason contests. Big Pappy is responsible for a multiple of clutch moments, playing a vital role in bringing three World Series championships to Boston. David Ortiz, Big Pappy, that's Ethan's Elvis Covers and More's favorite PC player. Then, next to last, we've got in the lineup here is Bernie Williams. Captain's Corner. Bernie Williams was a prominent peer and teammate of Derek Jeter for 12 seasons. Like Derek, Bernie suited up for the Yankees for the entirety of his career, playing a major role in four World Series championship teams. Bernie Williams of the New York Yankees. And our last card is... Bo Jackson of the Kansas City Royals, outfielder, captain's inspiration. Growing up, Derek would watch Bo Jackson blasting home runs for four Royals, and then a few months later, uh, see him running up and down the NFL gridiron. Jackson is regarded as one of the finest athletes in the history of professional sports. An almost superhuman blend of explosive power and blazing speed. Awesomeness there with Bo Jackson. Combination baseball football player. Bo Jackson of the Kansas City Royals. So hopefully you enjoyed the little review there. Watching the playback now. Thanks Aaron Boobs Lang. And I appreciate that batting helmet. Let me uh, preview the batting helmet again. I'll put it on. i got to do a, adjustments to allow it to fit better. Um, but there's the batting helmet. That's for sure. That's the batting helmet that Boomslang gave, us, gave me today. And then uh, where did I put the, the sunscreen? The car sunscreen sign is right here. I did open it up out of the box, that's for sure, or out of the packaging. Appreciate me allowing me to do that, but there is the sunscreen for that. You can see that kind of covers the whole screen there. And then let me, uh, let's see, get that closed really quick. I'll show you the flip side, because I know you had it left in the packaging. You didn't really open up the entire thing but this is the flip side there Nikki in case you're wondering I think I got the whole thing probably in there now this is this was created by trade wind industries in 1987 it does have a barcode on there I guess I could look it up and see if there's any more available out there but not that I would maybe buy one of these, but you never know. Somebody out there might. You can see how much it sells for on eBay if it shows up. But that was awesome there, Mickey. I really do appreciate this. And thank you for thinking about me being a tried and true to the blue Seattle Mariners fan. Appreciate that very, very much. Look, you can see the, the helmet sliding on my head there. I'll put that with my other signage stuff there. Maybe one day I'll have it laid out on the on the break table here. You can see it. But yeah, the the helmet definitely needs some adjusting. And I can I can see it is adjustable, so I might play with it a little bit and see. Uh, so other than that, I think that's about it for today. 
I will uh, leave you on this party note with the Derek Jeter uh, Tops X Derek Jeter product there. I wish Tops X would uh, if they if they went with Ken Griffey Jr. I would probably uh, buy a bunch of those boxes. That's for sure. Are you listening, Tops X? Uh, but yeah. So I appreciate that, Mickey. Appreciate sending that to me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get ready to wrap things up. I got to get out and do. Uh, I don't think it's as warm outside today. I hope not. I got to go out and do the weed eating really quick and that get that part of my honeydew list done and getting ready for our vacation soon. But um, I'll go ahead and leave the helmet on till we end the stream here, there, Mickey. But uh, appreciate that very, very much. Let me scoot this back just a little bit. Let me. Um, I'm going to switch hats because it. I think my hat works a little bit better. I will put this helmet right here like that. And we'll go ahead and end the stream this way. All right, let me get a sip of water. And then I'm going to get ready to sign off. The water, even though it wasn't refilled, made it through the stream with me. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off here. Okay, um, let me actually move my picture up in my other corner like I usually have it to hide some of that stuff there. Open it up a little bit more. And this has been Donald Blomdahl, Hall of Fame Veterans Sports Cards and Collectibles, being live to you with this 1990 Leaf Set Review. The family mail call from Boomslang, and congratulations once again for making it to 1,000 subscribers. It looks like you're hanging tight there. You should be under review by, uh, as long as you've got everything set up in your back office as far as your uh, wanting to be monetized on your channel. Um, and then hopefully you've got your AdSense account set up to where you can get super chats in your channel. Once you do, um, then you should be monetized by YouTube there, uh, Boomslang. Looks like you do have enough of your own personal content up there. And if it's watch hours, do you have the 4,000 watch hours in the last year that you needed? I know you did a lot of live streams, so you uh, did get a lot of content up there. Once you get that all set up, then you'll be able to go live from your YouTube channel. Um, even using, uh, you can set it up with uh, the, the OBS software like we do here with the dual cameras, the one going down on the break table and the one with you in the screen. But um, yeah, one last thing to finish up. We will see you tomorrow morning for our Throwback Thursday. Um, it's probably going to be a leaf box opening. Um, I'm trying to now complete the 1991 leaf set. That way I'll have the 1990. Or, no, the 1990. No, I have the 1991 complete set. So I have the 90 set in the binder. I will soon have the 91 set in the binder. And I now have to complete the 1992 leaf set. So that's probably what I'll be working on tomorrow is the 1992 leaf set. Okay, so we will see you probably tomorrow for the 1992 leaf box opening to finish that up. But one last thing to do, and that is, as always, be blessed, as Bipster does in the end of his streams. So you all take care. Lord bless you and have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow morning for Throwback Thursday. All right. Bye for now. Take care and have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye for now.